Hello there Power Ranger fans, it is time for another Power Rangers Lightning Collection toy review with me, Agni Golkin Ranger from the Golkin Ranger team. And in this video we'll be reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Goldar. Ooh. Okay, so this is our second figure for Power Rangers Lightning Collection which we got last year. And this is a really awesome figure. Now, I got this figure from Comics and Cocktails and this is a really fantastic figure because I love Goldar uh, from My Morphin Power Rangers. He's a really popular villain and I think it's going to be a lot of fun to review this figure for you guys today. So as always what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at the packaging and then we're going to take a look at the figure itself and so on. But first let's have a look at the packaging. So as you can see straight away we've got a nice Power Rangers Lightning Collection logo here and we got Mighty Morphin Goldar, and then we got Goldar himself on the side of the box. As you can see, the figure itself, you got Goldar here, and you get his sword and some extra hands. And he does have a lightning effect which will connect onto his sword, but we'll take a look at that when we open the box. And at the very far back, you can see he comes with his wings, so it looks like the wings are removable, which is fantastic. And on this side, you can see the Goldar illustration again with that continuing lightning bolt which looks fantastic. On the other side we got the Mighty Morphin logo and the continuing of the illustration from the front so I like, I really like that because it sort of gives a nice 3D effect and then back down here we got the Hasbro logo and then on to the back we got the picture of the figure itself with the Hasbro logo at the top corner and so on and so on. Okay so now we've taken a look at the packaging Let's take a look at the figure itself. Okay, so now we've taken Goldar out of the packaging. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the figure now with the details and articulation and so on. So here's the figure itself. And now as you can see, we've got a nice gold. Well, it's a nice, it's a mixture of gold. You've got gold paint here on the armor parts here on the shoulders and stuff and a bit on his chin and on his, not anywhere else really, and gold on the back. Goldar's booty covered, so we can't help with that. <laughs> okay, and as you can see, Goldar's face, he's got some nice red eyes, and some white for the teeth, and some green and some red on his chest, and red eyes as well, a bit of gold on his chin, and we move down, some gold on it, the gold arm on his, down here, and red, on his torso, some green on here, and gold, red on his knees, and gold paint on his knee pads, sharp claws on his feet, and if we turn to the back, black. Now the holes there are for his wings, and the wings are, hold on, this figure will stand, nope, I'll just, there you go, and here are the wings. So the wings, I'm um, trying to think how they go on. I think they go on this this way, or is it? I think they go on that way. Hold on, let me let me consult to the back of the box. One second. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I was right. And the green dots go on. So I was right. It's this way. The green dots. So when you want to put the wings on, because as I showed you in the box, the wings were separate. You've got the peg holes here and the pegs. So what we're going to do is going to move the pegs back and we're going to attach the pegs Ooh, like this. Oh. Now this is only the first time I've done this so bear with me. I think that's on. Yeah, yeah that's on. And then the other wing, so we're just going to push the peg into the peg hole. And obviously the wings are removed, you can take them on and off, so if you want to store the figure away, you can. So I'm just going to... So twist and push, twist and push, there we go, that's in there nicely. So then the wings are now on Goldar's back, because obviously if you remember from season one, he very Goldar very rarely had his wings. Um, but then in season two, he had his wings a lot more. So, um, articulation time, I think. So his head can move slightly, and it's on a ball joint, so he can look up, move up and down. 
Um, his arms can move up, forward, back, and side, since it's on a sort of ratchet joint here. And the elbows have a double joint here, so you can bend it in better ways. His hand obviously can turn, just like all lightning, all lightning collection figure hands can move like that. And that's on both hands. And then the legs, foot move it up. Double joint in the knee, like so. But obviously because of his armour here, he can't really bend his knees too far, but you can give him the, you can put him in a pose which gives him the illusion that he's flying or something. That's pretty cool. And obviously, oh yeah, before I forget, uh, the feet, just like all lightning collection figures, can move 360 degrees and bend. So you can get them into some pretty cool poses as well when you put them on display. So I'm just going to put that there, move the wings right there. Uh, the, as for the wings, the wings can move like this since they're on a this part and you can turn it. And this is also on a ball joint like this. I think the idea is you're meant to, you can fold his wings back pretty much like in the sh like he used to do in the show, so that's pretty cool. So I'm really, I mean, this looks, I mean, I love this figure, it looks so cool. Now, his other accessories he comes with is his sword, his iconic sword like this. As you can see, it's just a nice silver colour with a red dot. So it's very show accurate. Even though in the show, his sword at one point was all gold. So um, I think his sword just changed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just put his sword in this hand. Simply just put it on like this. It can be a bit of a struggle getting his sword in like that. But that looks pretty cool. I like that. Move his wings like this. Now the other accessory comes with is this, like, just like all lightning collection figures, they all come with a, with a accessory which you can use on multiple figures and this is Goldar's which is uh, lightning purple and we simply are just going to put that onto his sword which makes him look like his sword is getting, getting energised which is very cool so watch out rangers you don't want to get hit by this attack. And obviously the, la the other two parts, the last two bits are his two hands. So we got like a claw grabbing hand. So if he wants to grab a ranger by the throat and throw them, he can. And then this is just a simple punching one. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to switch hands. For it's, This is pretty much the same for all lightning collection figures. So you're going to grip the hand and then you're going to twist and pull at the same time, but pull gently because you don't want to break anything. So twist, pull, twist, pull, because then it starts to come out, as you can see. So twist, pull, twist, pull, twist, pull. There we go. And then I'm going to put the fist simply by putting it in and gently twist and push, twist and push, twist and push until it's in place. And then it can move freely, you know, just like with all the hands up and down or 360 degrees and there we go all right so that's it for this review I've really had a lot, a lot of fun reviewing this figure and I think it's really fair to say that this is a really fantastic figure Hasbro so thumbs up to you guys and yeah that's it so that's pretty much it for this review so I'd just like to say thank you everyone for watching as always please remember to like the video share the video comment below and your question of the day is your favourite gold arm moment in Power Rangers, Mike Morphin, or the movie, or Zio, or whatever. And of course, go go subscribe because we've got many more Power Ranger reviews heading your way. Alrighty, so this is Admin Gold King Ranger saying may the power protect you. Have a more phenomenal day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye, Ranger Nation.